Well, hi everyone, good morning. These last few days have been rather strange weather-wise, hasn't it? Yo, on Sunday we were all scurrying into the shade, it's so hot yet. Yesterday morning I went up to the chapel to open up for the teams working there. And I was dressed like a polar bear. I mean, it reminded me of some days how one minute it's too warm for a jersey and the next minute it's cold and on comes a jersey. On, off, on, off. It gets a little tiring. You know, in the book of Revelation, chapters 2 and 3, Jesus speaks to seven churches and challenges each of them in a particular matter. In Ephesus, their matter was love. Smyrna, the matter was facing extreme suffering. And Pergamon was holding on to the gospel in face of idolatry. Thyatira refusing to compromise on immorality. And Sardis was about spiritual reality. And Philadelphia was grasping a hold of opportunity. But the seventh church Jesus addressed was the church at Laodicea. And the matter Jesus addressed was their lukewarmness. He speaks to them in chapter 3 and verses 15 and 16. He says, I know your deeds. You're neither hot nor cold. I wish you were either one or the other. But because you're lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. And so the question to ask when we read this is, well, what is a lukewarm Christian? Well, a lukewarm Christian, in my opinion, is a person who's some who's someone that's a Bible-believing person. They've got a basic faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. But they're not on fire with zeal for God. They're content with where they are spiritually, proud of what they've achieved so far, uh, that have no sense of the need to make any further progress and lack spiritual ambition. And what's more, they're totally unaware that the, there is more to the Christian experience than where they are at present. But you know, Jesus doesn't leave lukewarm Christians there. He, he gives us counsel to enable our recovery from being a lukewarm believer. Jesus says this, buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may become truly rich. And refined gold is a symbol of persistent faith. And then Jesus goes on to say, buy white clothing so that you may clothe yourself. And white clothing is this zeal or energetic living for God. And so the question you and I can ask each other this morning is, how are we doing in our persistent faith and our energetic living for God? Why not press pause on your morning and pray into these two areas of your life. Amen. Guys, I trust you're going to have a great day. May God bless you. And I'll speak to you again tomorrow morning.